Explorers between the lines. Three, two, one, go. And it doesn't seem as if any of these robots are lethargic at all as they're in motion for qualification match number 33. And the Sandstorm has been shifted away. Blue Alliance in the lead, 14 to 11. 2265 Iron Maidens trolling their way along the near side with a cargo piece in tow. And they were able to load that one in, good for three points. Meanwhile, 6401 8-bit Rams trying to give a little bit of awakening shove to their teammates, USB. Great GP and teamwork there. 6880 USB donning the guacamole colored shirts, able to load up a piece of cargo on the backside of their ship. And that's one, can they make it two in a row? They do. Red Alliance now sitting on three pieces of cargo in their ship. Blue Alliance sitting at one. That's 5202, new robots trawls their way back towards the near side of the field. Their teammate, 69-69. Cyborgs tries to load up another piece of cargo on the back side, but that will carry him back onto the field of play. On the near side of the field, we have a very robust robot. That's the Rocketeers loading up the second level of that rocket. Cyborgs now going for another try on that back side of their ship. That sound means we have 30 seconds left as the Cyborgs are able to load another piece of cargo onto the ship, good for three points. 20 left on the clock, the Red Alliance with the lead, 35 to 19. Plenty of LED non-incandescent lights blinking around on the field. That's 20. Trying to climb up to level three, Hab. Looks like they're gonna be clear. Two, one, and time in qualification match number 33. We're gonna be chugging along like a boxcar with our official results. Hexagon-shaped robot rockets are lifting off, but it'll be the Red Alliance blasting with a win, 53 to 36. Red Alliance will get three ranking points for that match, two for the win and one for the 18-point half climb.